like to do is continue our uh, series of uh, words of the week and that kind of thing. Uh, we have three words of the week, okay? I'm going to um, point out, point them out to you and actually show you where their origin is, okay? The first one is a Japanese word, and it's, it's actually pronounced shi-han. It's spelled S-H-I and then H-A-N, okay? Um, so, but it's really pronounced shi and han, okay? It's a Japanese word. We'll go into what it means in a minute. The next one is a Chinese and Japanese word, and it's sin se, but it's actually pronounced like a, it's sensei, all one word, but it's pronounced like sin and se, okay? And they, they just jam it together and say sin se. The next one is Korean, and it's uh, uh, it's spelled kwan, k w a n, jang, j a n g, and nim, but it's pronounced uh, kwan with like a q sound, kwan, not a k sound, so it's kwan. John, like the name John, J-O-H-N, and Nim, okay, even though it's J-A-N-G, okay, and that's what I mean, like sometimes like when you see or you hear someone pronunciate like the martial art words, their words are like this, okay, like, 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 like this, okay, um, and so like, you know, this actually means dream, okay, and you can see that it doesn't look like dream in America to us, right, so when it gets interpreted from something like this to actually like something that's more like English, it's very hard to follow, okay? So, um, one more time. Um, but basically, what all these really mean is uh, master, okay? Or senior instructor or head of a school, okay? They're all actually correct. Normally, because of uh, there's other words for like people that are high ranking in your school and things of that nature, um, a lot of times what will happen is, you know, um, different schools use them a different way. But, um, like I said, in Japan, they, they call it uh, shihan. If you're a shihan, you're a master of the martial arts, okay? Um, if you're the sensei, okay, you're also a master of the martial arts, okay? But typically, there's one shihan in a school. There's one sensei in a school, okay? Um, or one kwanjan nim in a school, okay? It, um, and what that, that, that's the person that actually is the founder or that is the person that runs the entire school. Now you can have black belts, in, you know, many black belts and different degrees of black belts in an actual karate school, okay? Um, there's uh, something called Saba Nim, okay? And that's Sa Ba Nim. Now it's not on our sheet, but Saba Nim is normally, um, normally the class holder. And that could be, uh, that could be a black belt. That could be like a high-ranking uh, person right next to black, okay? They could be considered uh, Saba Nim, okay? Um, but anyway, um, so these are the words of the week, okay? Uh, in our school, you know, the privilege goes to myself. I'm the sensei, okay? But, you know, out, out in the real world, you'll hear someone say that their name is like Sensei Sheridan or something like that. Sensei is actually a term of endearment normally, too. So, you know, if you introduced yourself, you wouldn't say, hi, I'm Sensei Sheridan, you'd just say, I'm Sensei, you know? Um, that's more culturally correct, okay? Um, you know, and if you had like a web page or something, you wouldn't say Sensei uh, Sheridan on it, it'd just be Sensei, okay? Because um, I don't say, you know, I'm Master Kevin, I just say I'm the Master, or my name is Kevin, but I don't say Master Kevin normally at, at introducing myself. Like if I was gonna introduce myself to you today, and I walked up, I wouldn't say, I'm Master Kevin. It just wouldn't sound right, right? But if I said I'm Sensei, that means I'm the head of the school, okay? I could introduce myself as Sensei, but normally when someone uses the word Sensei, it's an honor for the master of the school to actually hear his name, like being, not his name, but the title of Sensei, or the title of uh, Shia, or the title of Kwan Jan. They, they shorten it, um, like if they said, like if I walked up and I said, Master Kim is my Kwanjan, that I could drop the nim part, okay, and it'd still be correct. But the actual word would be Kwanjan nim. My master is actually Master Young Wan Kim, okay, and he was my Kwanjan nim, okay. But if I introduced them to somebody, I'd say this is Master uh, Kim, Kwanjan uh, uh, Kim. I would drop the nim, okay, in the actual saying it, okay. More than you probably ever really need to know. But, uh, so words of the thing, if I say to you, um, like in class, you know, what is Xi'an, okay? Well, Xi'an is master, 
okay? If I said you would sensei in our school, it's not just teacher, okay? It's the master, okay? It's the one that really teaches you, like teaches everybody, okay? And if I said, am I the Quan John in the school? Absolutely, okay? I'm the, you know, but the real word is Quan John Nin, okay? And the pronunciations, one more time, is it's, it's like she and Han, okay? Over here, it's sin and say, so, but it's spelled differently, obviously. And then here, it's Quan, but it's pronounced with a Q, Quan. And then instead of Jang, it's John, Quan Jan Nim, okay? But if you read it off the sheet, you'd say Quan Jang Nim. And that, that just sounds wrong to people that actually know the language, okay? So it's Quan John Nim, okay? That concludes uh, our little uh, segment on uh, the word of the week. I hope you learned something today and got something out of it.